Hello everyone. Spoilers ahead, this is a story of a plane, which travels back in time, when World War was running. The plane mysteriously reached to past, and again traveled back to its original time. Let's start the movie now. The movie starts, and we see two pilots flying an airplane. Pilot announced that weather will be fine, so enjoy the flight, passengers busy in their own stuffs. Then, the captain drinks coffee, and the co-pilot says, he checked all the system. After some time, their navigation instruments shows unusual readings. The pilot orders co-pilot to check and fix the instruments. They contact the tower. They inform the tower that, they are trying to fix the problem. After some time, pilot saw a huge storm ahead. Five minutes ago, the weather was fine. This storm appeared from nowhere. Their navigation instruments were not working. Due to this, the pilot ordered all the passengers to wear seat belts. Everyone becomes scared and terrified. Their plane felt a strong turbulence as they entered the storm. The pilots had had time, controlling their plane. Due to strong wind, the plane rolled to one come out of the storm. When they came out of the storm, everything seemed silent, everyone becomes relaxed, and surprisingly it turned night. When they were entering the storm, it was one hour left, before sunset. The co-pilot says that, have we fainted, to which the captain says that we were not fainted. Unfortunately, most of the instruments of the plane failed, only radar was functional. The pilot tried to contact tower, but there was no reply. He tried to contact radio several times, but he was not able to succeed. Meanwhile, air hostess served the passengers. Two of them asked the air hostess, today sun set early. The air hostess replied that it was because of the storm. They said that they were professors of history. Inside the cabin pilots were worried, they did not see any other planes in their radar. The radar showed that they were alone, to test this they lowered their plane, but yet they did not found any other planes. To examine the area, they decided to descend further down. The captain announced a passenger to wear seat belts. Suddenly, pilots noticed some planes in their radar. But when the pilots saw out the window, they saw fighter planes, bombarding the ground. The ground was full of fire and smoke. Then, a fighter plane comes near them. The pilots saw it, and they pulled their plane up. It seemed like a war was going on. The pilots tried to contact the control tower, but they got no reply. The passengers also saw this, they were frightened. One of them asked the hostess about this. But an air hostess tried to calm them by saying that, everything is under their control. The pilots were confused about what was happening, and how it turned the night from morning in such a small time. Next, the pilots came to know that, they have been lost, so they will have to depend on landmark in order to land. So they will have to fly below clouds. Then a passenger asks an air hostess, what is going on? The hostess says that she had no idea. She suggests him to sit down. Next, we see two people who are looking through the windows. They were professors of history. They saw the fighter plane and tried to find out about it, in their books. Then, after finding information about the fighter planes, both of them tried to reach to pilot. But an air hostess stops then. Anyhow, they reached the cabin. They informed pilots that, the plane around us are fighter planes. They added, the production of these planes stopped after 1945. All the remaining planes were destroyed in the war. One of the professors said, it seems like we have traveled back in time, to the year 1940. The pilots was confused by their talks, so they said them to leave. The captain said to them, that he gives him some time to prove this. He also said, meanwhile, do not disclose this to any other passenger. The pilots remained confused, meanwhile, they become successful in contacting an army officer on the radio. The army officer asks for the plane identification, and becomes confused when he heard about its model. The pilots ask the army officer about the current date. The army said that it is June 17, 1940. The pilots become surprised on knowing the date. After this, they became sure that they have done time travel to past. In fact, they have traveled 75 years back in time. The pilots called the two professors. The professors say that due to weather changes the whole plane did time travel. The pilot gives them the radio. The professor knew all the events of the war. So they informs the army officer, that a huge ship will sink today. The army officer reports this to his senior. The professor said to the captain, we are not from this time so, we should return to our time as soon as possible. 
It is more challenging for us to save our life, because, the world war is going on. Meanwhile, a passenger heard all of this, and he told this to all the passengers, but no one believed him. Meanwhile, we see two soldiers, who order all of the passengers to sit in their seats. They didn't want them to create chaos. Next, the pilots again contact the army officer. The officer said that the information that you gave, was correct. It helped us to save our officers. He says, he will help them. He asks about their plane's location. But the pilots themselves did not know their location, so they turned on all of their plane's lights, for identification. But due to this, fighter planes nearby saw their plane and started to fire at them. The pilots thought that the fighter plane had old technology, and will not be able to change their direction fast. Using this as an advantage, the captain lowered his plane close to the ground. But before his plane touched the ground, he made it move up. But the fighter planes which were chasing them, could not fly high in a short amount of time and they crashed. But the problem is not over for the pilots, because they have very little fuel. Meanwhile, two fighter planes chase them and shoots at them. This attack broke window of the pilot cabin and co-pilot was hurt inside of his abdomen. This attack also damaged landing gear. Air hostess found the first aid, and treated his wound. Next captain and co-pilot become sure that somehow they did time travel to past. Captain himself went to the passengers and told them truth. He told them not to panic. He asked passengers for help. One of the men offered to help. They went down the plane and reached the landing gear. The boy went out to manually fix the landing gear. When the landing gear retracted, the man was about to fall, but he hold it tightly. He was able to come back successfully. The man got round of applause for doing this work. The fighter plane was continuously fired missile at them, but the captain detected it and was able to save from it. But due to this a window got cracked. The captain again contacts the army boy. They promise to give them their radar system, if he stops air attack. The boy reports this to his senior. The senior agrees to this. Soon, the air attack stops. Then, the passengers attach radar system in a temporary parachute and drops it. The army got the radar system. Then, the army boy guided the plane to land in a safe place, but then the same mysterious storm appears, and the pilot makes the plane pass through it. The plane felt a huge turbulence. But they again traveled back in their own time. This time. The tower contacted them. The captain asked for emergency landing. They were able to land the plane. All passengers were safe, while we see an old passenger, writing a diary titled, A Radar System That Saved Europe. Here we can assume that the old man was the same army boy, and the movie ends here. Hope you liked the video. Get subscribed for latest updates.